All right, now we're going to allow um, accept important ICMP messages. So we pings. We're going to allow some certain amount of pings here. So we're going to append to the input. So this is traffic going to the input chain. So destined for CentOS. If the protocol is ICMP, which let's say is a ping, well, we can set that double dash ICMP dash type echo dash request. If it's an echo request, jump to accept. So we'll accept pings. Uh, protocol, uh, perfect. If it's coming in, we'll accept a ping. Okay. Um, that looks good. Next one. Coming input chain, so destined for CentOS, the protocol, ICMP, double dash, ICMP dash type. Let's say um, time exceeded messages. Whoops, got to spell it correctly. Time exceeded. Whoops, no, that's not two Ds, it's two Es. Time exceeded. Jump to accept. And then IPT-A input chain protocol ICMP And then destination dash unreachable messages. Jump to accept. So destination unreachable messages will be allowed. Time exceeded messages, echo requests, all of those will be allowed. Um, then by default, here goes, by default, reject connection attempts not initiated from inside the LAN. So that's what this rule would look like. IPT, variable IPT for IP tables, append this rule. input chain so connections coming from outside so let's say the protocol is TCP and let's say they send us a SYN packet synchronization uh, segment for initial request SYN packet to set up a TCP three-way handshake uh, jump to drop so there's our first drop all right then we're going to, in the next step, we're going to set up um, a squid proxy server, a web filter. So send LAN requests to squid. Send LAN requests to squid. Okay. Now, at first, we're going to comment this line out. Okay. I'm going to comment this line out because we don't have squid running yet, but we will. So when we have squid running, we'll need to uncomment this. So that's important. Once again, notice I've put the hash in front of this, so it's not going to be effective until we have we until we get rid of that. And we're only going to get rid of it when we're ready. So this is the last line. So IP tables. The table is NAT. We're going to append this to the pre-routing chain and the interface. We'll use the variable int underscore interface. So on our interior interface, if the protocol is TCP and traffic coming from the inside of the network, 
with destination port, D port, double dash D port 80. So traffic on port 80, jump to DNAT, destination NAT. Um, and that is DNAT it double dash 2, 172.16.1.1, basically to ourselves on port 3128. So that's what this does. Um, it's going to take traffic incoming on the interior interface. So let's say coming from Mint or some other device that we have on our LAN on uh, the protocol TCP destination port 80, we're going to jump to DNAT it to ourselves to CentOS on port 3128. And that would send traffic effectively to Squid if we have Squid. So send LAN request to Squid, but um, uncomment the line below when when you are ready to run squid so that's there we go looks good so anyway that is the rules here those are the rules those are sample firewall rules so um, here we go I just need to save this script. Control X, Y, and Enter to save it in CentOS. And now that we have that done, I'll do a, a clear command here to clear. All right, now what we can do is we could say, well, LS. There's our firewall script. Beautiful. So I'm gonna first I'll just start IP tables. Service IP tables start. So now it's running. Okay, service IP tables status. It's active. Now I'll just run the firewall script. So dot forward slash firewall script and it says line five unexpected end of file while looking for matching uh, line 66 syntax error unexpected end of file so there's an error on line 5 so it's going to tell you if you have a typo in there it'll let you know so let's take a look um, line 5 so I'm going to need to go back and edit it so there's line 1 2 3 4 5 Ah, I've got a quote in here. Um, so up here, when we set up the variables, I put um, I, I put the path to IP tables in quotes, but when I typed it in, I forgot to put a quote at the end. So that's an error. So if I do that quote, and then Control X Y and Enter and then launch it again. All right, it says IP tables couldn't load target except with three C's. Okay, so there's another error in there. So I just have to find out where I put except with three C's. So let's go back and edit it. And we'll say, all right, except, except two C's, two C's. So far, all of these have two C's and two C's. There it is. I found it. it. Tells you what the error is. Three C's. No good. Control X, Y, and Enter to accept, and then try to rerun it again. And I got no error messages this time, which means the script it's good. The rules are properly formatted, and it's working. So now our firewall is running. So um, excellent. So that's IP tables in a nutshell. Now to test it to make sure it works, to let's take a look at this. If right now, if I go to 
8.139, this is my home page. You can see it right there. All right, now I'll go back to, well, maybe I'll go back into my firewall script and I'll go back to edit it and I'll go down to that rule and it says IP tables, input, TCP, destination port 80, um, new connections. So instead of accept, I'll put on port 80 drop. There we go. Control X, Y, and enter. Rerun the firewall script. So now we'll see if that works. So I'll open up a new browser here. I'll put in 192.168.8.139. And you'll notice no, no web page. No web page because IP tables blocked it because it dropped the connection. It's not allowing that port 80 connection. I'll go back in here and edit it. Notice it said connection timed out. It's not responding. Details, right? It's whatever. It's not working. I'll go back in and I'll edit it. I'll go down to that line or firewall rule for port 80 and change it back to accept. Control X, Y, and enter. Rerun the firewall script. There we go. Just reran it down here. And look, now it works. So there's a quick uh, IP tables firewall script lesson. And in the next video, we're going to set up a Squid proxy server. And Squid Guard um, basically set up a blacklist of sites that are websites that are not allowed. And we're going to send traffic. Two CentOS is going to intercept traffic on port 80. We're going to use IP tables to send it to port 3128 where Squid is, and then we'll be able to uh, filter or not filter certain types of domains or URLs.